This town ain't big enough for the two of us, boy. Yeah, because we're all fat guys. All right, everyone. Wildfire One. Uh, you're listening and watching Here's New Sexy. With me today is... Grizzly McBee. What's up, y'all? And we have our special guest again. Sam36. Guys, uh, I don't know if you can tell... Uh, this is episode 101. Ooh. So, I don't know if you can tell, but we're, we're talking about some real cowboy shit. And we're not talking about Brokeback Mountain shit. We're talking about, you know, the good not. cowboy shit. I can't quit <laughs> you! So, we're talking about Red Dead Redemption. Of our, yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2. Two. And, uh, well, you know, over the little hiatus, we didn't get a chance to talk about, so here's our chance. Uh, I mean, there's so much. They, they When the game first came out, it didn't come out with multiplayer, and we've been kind of enjoying that. But we'll, we'll, we'll start yeah. with single player first, you okay. know, and then we'll go from there. Uh, Grizzly just got it. Uh, I got it probably the first month it came out, like within a week. I, I had to get it. I wanted that game since day one. Uh, you know, and, and this guy got it. Just came I had out it within, like, the, the, the yeah. first first few days. And, we're of course, when we got it, we're like, oh, yeah, online, we're going to fucking jack that shit. And then we're like, oh. Oh, there's no no online. Oh, oh okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was I was definitely bummed about it yeah. when, when they first did because we we'll expect, you know, getting to play with Grizz, you know, Wild and everything. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is going to be awesome. But now I'm kind of at the point where I – where the online is at in the beta – Portion, I would rather play single player than online, just because I've gotten so engrossed in the story. Yeah, well, the story, and we're gonna we're gonna get to that. Just so you guys know, there's gonna be spoilers. Uh, this guy hadn't finished it yet, but he's okay with it. We, we made sure to talk to him. This guy got a little got some shit spoiled, but we'll get to that. Yeah, I mean, I I don't want to call anyone out, but <laughs> the, uh, the person that spoiled it, their name is in the candy bar Reese's peanut butter cup. And I don't think anybody's gonna name their kid Peanut Butter Cup, so well, maybe <laughs> if your kid is a 2019, if your kid is a 2019, shit happens. Oh, Peanut yeah. Butter Cup! <laughs> Just imagine being a young man. No, seriously. Um, so we start out with a game, and when I bought this game, I wanted to say this first and foremost. When I bought this game, I had no idea where it was gonna leave off from the first game. Yeah, I had no idea what was going on. When it, if you start out in the snow and you're talking to this gang, these gang members, obviously, and I, I'm watching this and I'm going, who the fuck is this? Who the fuck is Arthur Morgan? Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Where the fuck am I? What's going on? You know, and all of a sudden I hear these familiar voices and I hear the name <sighs> Marston. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, and it hit me. This is a prequel. Prequel. This is yeah. the Vanderlyn gang. So that's where I got really excited. Uh, when did you find out? It was right about the same time, and they're like, oh, let's go find John. I'm like, oh, okay. And then we get there, and he's got his face slashed yeah, it up. Yeah, shows the scratch. My, you- my favorite part is having the same voice actors. Like, that made yeah so much better, and there was so much more of a, a connection to them. And, I mean, I gotta say, fucking phenomenal The voice story. acting. The voice acting. Oh, yeah. And the storyline. I mean, it, it's... When I got to the point where, I mean, we'll get into it later, but as I was getting to the point where the game was about to end, I didn't I didn't want to play anymore. Yeah. Because I knew how it was going to end, and I wasn't okay with that. And I, I really just wanted to put my controller down because that meant that it's what, was gonna, what was going to happen, I could essentially stop it. Because yes. I if I just turned the game off, I was you like, okay. so stuck up on these characters that if something happens to them, you're, you're upset. Oh. You know, and there's, right. and I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. Spoiler alert: certain people die, and we'll get into that. Uh, but and I'm talking, not even talking about about the what person we're yeah. probably thinking about. But there's certain people that you get into that are in this gang. You're like, fuck, man. You know, uh, and I'm not, I'm not gonna say too much because I don't want to ruin all everything for Grizz. I'm I'm just gonna I don't, I'm gonna apologize. I'm, I'm gonna play the game regardless. I I don't care. It's I love the game that much. I mean, you can t- tell me at some point in time, aliens come down and, you know, fuck Arthur in the ass, and I'm going to play the game and try to figure out when the well, fuck it happens. Aliens don't come down to fuck Arthur in the ass, but there are aliens. And vampires. Yeah. I, I knew that there was vampires. 
I haven't. I haven't There's also vampires. werewolves. I see. I haven't encountered werewolves. I encountered a uh, feral man that uh, was raised by wolves, and he did not wear clothes, and his dick and balls yeah. were on full display. So what happened was, as I was riding along, and he was like eating like a, a, a like dead a rabbit or rabbit. something, and then he runs away, and I'm like, "What's this dude's story?" I'm like. Let me go ride down and see, right? So I ride down. He's in a cave, and then two wolves attack me. So, as one His family, did, yeah, as one does, I shot the wolves because of them or me. So then he he was a bit upset by that. His family at the time. Then I, I I stole his journal and read it, and the dude basically like lost his shit and was raised by wolves. And I was like, oh okay. Well, now, that's that's one of the things about this game is it's just like the first Red Dead Redemption. You you have strangers, you meet people, mm-hmm. and some of them, there's actual stories to some of them. You, you see what the, the, the conclusion is. I found a uh, murder-suicide uh, outside of Rhodes. So I go riding around, and like I see like blood everywhere. I'm like, what happened? So I go out back, and there's a, a woman that's dead, like leaned up against a car. And I'm like, well, that's, that's not good. That's fucked up. So I went in the house, and then there's two bodies in there, too. And I'm just like looking around, and I mean, they're... They're not going to need it, so I was looting everything that I can. Yeah, you know, it's you know, old west. Yeah, and then I go back, and so when only the body outside was lootable, so I was like, "Oh, that's it's weird." What the fuck are you Good doing? Grizz. Are you throwing gang signs? Are you throwing like old oh. western gang signs? Are you... I just see like the fingers underneath. It's, it's like, like Ricky Bobby. Yeah, I don't know what to do with my hands. But, uh, so only the woman outside was lootable. So I thought that was weird. So I went out, looted her, and there was a letter. Mm-hmm. And it was basically a man that said, hey, what we did was wrong. I'm with my wife. Like, you can't fucking come up to me anymore. And I interpreted it as, uh, this woman lost her shit, married a man and his wife, and then killed herself. So yeah. there's some dark little stories that yeah. are just... And it's not associated to any mission or anything like that. I was just like, "Hey, what's in this house?" Well, some of them, you, you, you some of the strangers you you meet, and they're like, "It's it's just a quick introduction," and then you see them again later on. Yeah. Gavin, Gav, 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 <laughs> where are you? That's through. That's even throughout the game. Like, yeah. So it's again the game starts out with you're 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 pretty much running because you you did this thing where. You did this thing in Blackwater where you you got caught. It went bad. You kind of find out about it later on. We're not going to get too far into it, but they're on the run. Your gang's on the run. So you hear about you hear some names and people died. Some you're, people you're in the mountains. It. You're trying to escape. And at this point, they're in survival mode. Yeah. They're and that's where you're learning the the game. That's where you're learning to hunt. It's a tutorial. Where yeah. The which I thought it was a really classy way to do the tutorial. Where you just kind of feel like you're you're easing into the game, and hey, follow me. Hey, do this on your horse. Hey, here's how to take down large game animals. Oh look, a bunch of fucking wolves are wanting to bite your ass. Yeah, don't let that happen. Shoot them. You know, help uh, Marston because he's now got claw marks on his face. Yeah, throw them over the the back of your horse and showing how how you carry things. No, and I I really enjoyed how they they eased you into the game yeah it was a smooth transition all the way through it was a nice little story and it didn't feel like you know you know because most games stop for the tutorial yeah like you're like okay now you gotta do this now you gotta do that and it makes you feel like okay the storyline this this isn't part of the story this doesn't belong here but it this felt like it was it was it was smooth everything transitioned into itself and you know of course you're in a gang so you fuck up something happens and you got to move on right yep so and this was just a, you know, there, there's a, the where they found this place was just a stop to get away from the people in Blackwater, and then you find yourself at your first camp at uh, at Valentine, and yeah. then you go from there. Uh, it, it, and you, of course you get to you get to this town, and all these towns, a lot of these towns, I remember from Red Dead, Red Dead mm-hmm. Redemption, and they they did very well on recreating these. Oh yeah, uh, they look good, uh, especially like Armadillo. When you finally get to go there, yeah. and and uh, it feels really seamless. Yeah. I mean, what What are your thoughts on on the so far, Grizz? Well, you know, I I like the fact it kind of felt like the uh, the tutorial is like a thirty minute tutorial. Yeah. It's, because there's it's different long. things that you have to do. Yeah. Um, it's like the whole first section of the story itself, um, of explaining how you play the game. Yeah. Essentially. 
Um, and not a lot of games have that anymore. Not like that, at least. No, you get the quick, uh, oh, hey, you know, to jump, press up, you know, to crouch, press down, da- press down, you know, and not like you don't get story with tutorial. Not, not in these days. Whereas in so. this case, I think the tutorial is intertwined with the story, which made it a lot more enjoyable. It didn't feel like a pause between everything. I didn't want to skip it, I guess would be the best yeah. best way for me to yeah. describe it. You would miss something if you skipped that. Yeah. And you, you get to meet some more of the characters, like like Micah. Mm-hmm. Who you Fuck that guy. Fuck, Fuck that yeah. Guy. Fuck that guy. Should have never rescued him. Uh, spoiler alert, should have never rescued him from that fucking strawberry jail. Yeah, I should have fucking let him rot in there. I still have a three hundred dollar bounty for that whole Same fucking Same here, because nobody says, "Hey, dipshit, remember to put your fucking bandana on." So I just rode in like, "All right, Michael, let's do that." Well, if it makes you and feel better, the next... I did put my bandana on, and I still had like a hundred something dollar bounty. I went to collect the debt for the German, and the posse showed up, wanting to kill me. So I uh, I killed them all, and then I I went home. And now I'm wanted, dead or alive, so in that whole area. Home. And then I went home. This, this is, this is a typical story for Red we Dead. Won't go, we, we won't go through the whole story. We'll talk. We'll talk briefly about things that happen. You get really into the characters. You meet Micah. Yeah. You meet. There's a bunch of other characters. Lenny. You get. Yeah. You know. Lenny but, Charles. Charles is be a, besides Arthur. Charles is my favorite. Yeah. Isaiah. Yes. Yeah. I, I like his wisdom and his, his viewpoint. Well, in the you game. can tell he was older and he was wiser and he was yeah. tired of doing certain things a certain way. But he loved the swindle people. He yeah. loves the swindle people and that was really good. <laughs> Who doesn't? Yeah, well, you know. But did, did, there's a there's one particular mission you do with him where um where he makes you pretend like he <laughs> mentally challenged. Yeah, he basically m- tells yeah. everyone that your brain isn't firing yes. on all cylinders. So and uh, <laughs> so so you're you know you're you're playing you're playing Arthur Morgan, and he's and Arthur's a, he's a he's a strong man's man of a cowboy. Yeah. So he's like, just don't say. He's telling him, don't say much. For I, the best thing that I can equate it to, is for um, uh, Thor Ragnarok. Uh, they're escaping, and uh, Thor looks at Loki and goes, "You want to do help me?" He goes, no, I don't want to do, or I need help or something like that. No, I don't want to do that. It's degrading. And then the elevator's open, and he's carrying Loki, and I need help. And then he throws him out. <laughs> it was like that that kind of degrading for Arthur, where he's like, no, I don't I don't want to be stupid. I don't want to do this. I don't want to act like that. Yeah. He's, he, the whole time, he, the whole time, Jose is like, you're a pretty good actor and doing that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Just basically rubbing it in his face. The, act, the acting's good. The music is amazing yes. in this game. Um, like we said earlier, the same voice actor comes back and plays John Marston. Uh, I'm not, I can't say anything about because I never played Red Dead Revolver. I didn't either. So I, I bought it, actually. I just bought it recently. It's on PlayStation Network. So that's my next game. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. So um, I, I don't know if any of the others came back, but all the voice actors are fucking amazing. Everyone, everyone sounds like what you'd expect them to. You fall in love with these characters. Uh, Stuff happens throughout the way. I mean, we there's so much stuff we can't go over it anyway. All, all in the time we have, but there's a lot that goes on in this game. And the game actually, I mean, the, well, this is how I explain it. What's your okay? What's your favorite cowboy movie? Uh, Tombstone. That's like Tombstone. Yeah. What's your favorite cowboy movie, Chris? He took words right out of my mouth. That's it, it, it doesn't story, get any better bit. than that. The story is just no. like your favorite cowboy movie. It has every yep. aspect of any of that stuff you want. Like you have your great one-liners. Yep. You have your great your great characters. You have you know a cowboy is a is a man's man. I mean, call me old-fashioned. A cow, you know, it's it's John, it's a John Wayne kind of cowboy. The, the biggest thing, thing for me was character development. I became yes. so attached to characters. You get enamored. So it would like Sadie. Sadie Adler is one of my favorites. Oh yeah. And for the longest time, I had it in my head that this game was gonna end. Some shit was gonna go down, right? Because you know it does from playing the first one. Because you know Marston's living out on his own and you know split from the gang and whatnot. But in my head, whatever bad thing was gonna happen, Arthur and Sadie were gonna ride off into the sunset together. And then, spoiler alert. Arthur gets fucking tuberculosis. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> he gets. He hey, gets yeah, you know what? You, you reacted like he did when 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 uh, Reese's peanut butter peanut cup. butter cup said it. Yeah, and uh, 
So it like legitimately bummed me out. Like I knew it was coming, but then when I played in the game and he's actually diagnosed with it and Dark Toad doesn't look good. diagnosed him with it is, is it's a heartbreak. So like I do that and I'm just so bummed that my wife actually got home from work and I was doing something and she's like, what's wrong? And I was like, Arthur's got tuberculosis. And she looked at me like, what the fuck? What is wrong are you with talking you? about? I was like, you know, Arthur uh, on my game. She's mm-hmm. like, seriously, you're you're upset over a video game character that got tuberculosis. I'm like, well, yeah. So then, another spoiler alert coming. At the end of the game, basically shit just goes south. Everybody's scattering. There, I, I won't ruin it all, but you know, there's shit goes really bad and an epic we chose you, get the same a, you get a choice and the choice that we both made you have an epic fight on top of a mountain and you end up in my case i don't know how the the time works for everybody if it just has a set it happens at a time of day but at the time of day i was up the raining. sun it was raining sun was and the sun was going down and arthur died on top of a mountain alone mm-hmm. i was so Mad. Well, not only not only alone, but he was betrayed. Betrayed, yeah, alone and betrayed. And so the rest of the day, I'm just pissed. I'm like, fucking Arthur. Not only does he die a horrible death of tuberculosis, he dies on top of a mountain by himself, and it, one of his best friends betrayed him. And then, spoiler alert, after we that, talked about no. this earlier, just like in the first game, it goes on to another character, which in this case is John Marston, and it's actually talking about how what between what happened between that event and the event of Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. It's and it's an awesome filler. When Red Dead Redemption came out, the first one, when after after John Marston died in that yeah. game, spoiler alert, if you haven't played, no, it. it's not a spoiler alert at this point. If you haven't <laughs> play the game, bitch. Yeah, it's like fucking ten years so, old. So so um after after John Marston passes away, he gets killed. You play his son, and it didn't feel like it was almost like they didn't know know what to do next. So they just like it was okay, a it was son. a quick little wrap up. Yeah. All right, you play a son. Pop, pop, you're done. Yeah. Game over. And and it felt kind of like rushed. Yep. This felt natural. This, it, it, you know, and every time, I don't know if, it, if it's just me, but every time when they do like a few weeks later, a few months, I do that yeah. fucking thing with uh, uh, Spongebob. Oh, yeah. A few hours a few later. A few hours later. I did that. Later. Now, on, and I know, I thought about this last night. So I thought it was hilarious because, you know, whenever it does the few hours later or a chapter change or whatnot, it writes in cursive. Yeah. And then subtitles it. Because, well, I mean, they don't teach cursive anymore, so, yeah. you know. The, I wonder how many people would... Going backwards! How many people would bitch about it that... I, I can't read I don't that. know what it says. Is that some is sort that of alien language? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I get Sam you. Sam 36, we're the last of a dying breed. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a secret code at this point for us. So, in the epilogue, you're playing as Marston, and then you end up kind of finding some other people from the gang and whatnot. And it's crazy to think, but it it actually brought me peace when you meet up with Charles. Mm-hmm. And Charles goes, yeah, I was up north, but I came back down and I buried Arthur. He buried Arthur and he buried uh, uh, Miss uh, Grimshaw. Yeah, Grimshaw. And that, that made me feel good that it was like, you know what? Arthur can be at, at peace now. <laughs> you like fucking product placement for Outlaw Energy there? <laughs> and then- this podcast brought to you by Outlaw Energy. And Bud Light. And Bud Light. So, yeah, and Jack that, Daniels, that, honey. You're an alcoholic. Good. Definitely Grizz is an alcoholic. Definitely. But, I'm not going to say that that bottle was half full when I woke up this morning, but... Bottle I'm Grizzly bottle. McBee and I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Grizzly McBee. Hi, Grizzly McBee. <laughs> so, okay. Back, online. Online. Back, online. So, online came a little later. Yeah. About, uh... A month, month and a half. I'd say uh, probably close to two months. I think, roughly. So, yeah, we got excited. Right. It, and it's still beta. The, well, yeah. during recording this, the game is still in beta mode. The online is still in beta. They're oh. still putting. Stuff oh, we on. still find glitches all the time. Sitting at the poker table, you're more like levitating. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! Those yes. fucking boats outside of Valentine that all of a sudden are on the trail. Mm-hmm. The horses between Valentine's and Rhodes, where there's always two or three horses, and one is fucking neck deep in the road, just running, while the other two are just standing there. Sure, him and I were doing a, a mission, and he saw everything right. Uh huh. And the character that was supposed to be moving stuff around was sitting down in a chair. 
So everything was floating <laughs> up there. Like, he's drinking coffee and the coffee cup, the coffee cup's like fucking floating. He's just sitting there like it's an everyday fucking occurrence. He's just reading whatever. Oh, okay, whatever. And shit's floating around. I play the single player and online completely different. Yeah. Um, when I'm playing, you, you do it like I do. Yeah. When I'm playing the single player, like I Arthur was a good man. We're good people. So I acted as a good man. My online character. I could give two shits about, so he's a fucking monster. When we played with Gambit yesterday, this is how I explained it. This is, we're not good people. Let's, let's wait for Grizzly, you better get your ass over here, because we're going to have a toast. We, or amongst all these dead bodies. Ready? Yeah. 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 And you're going to go yeah, do something go. with that, aren't you? Yeah, you see my, this, this is my girl right here. Yeah. Gambit didn't, Gambit refused to kill anyone. <laughs> yeah, so about, about an hour in of him just pissing us off not wanting to kill anybody but willing to loot everything <laughs> um i made a comment about or uh no wild made a comment about um how vegans make them upset because they're talking about how we eat cows and so i made the comment well of course i'm going to eat a cow so that you vegan fucks can eat and then gambit goes I hate vegans. Fucking hate vegans. I'd kill a vegan. I was like, hey, Gambit, every NPC and other player in this game, they're all vegans. He goes, let's fucking kill them. Let's do it. <laughs> they're all going to die. Well, there have been multiple occasions where I've been, like, riding way ahead of Wild. And he'll be like, dude, where are you at? And they'll be like, oh, never mind. I know where you're going. I look at the and, map, and I'll see him go straight to what we call a pinky. Well, he'll, he'll that or... Um, I'm notorious for leaving bodies on the trail like breadcrumbs. Um, pretty much anyone, any NPC I ride past, pop, pop. Yeah, and, I'm the uh, same way. I, so, I, maybe I learned it from you or got it right. I just, I picked that up. But I, it, we're not good people online. No. Well, we, we got plenty of stories for this and we'll just talk about that a little bit. Let's talk about, let's talk about Grizz's horse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's horse shit. <laughs> Let's talk about so, horse. So, uh, in the game, you can uh, sometimes ride other people's horses if, you know, they're new to the game and don't realize that they have terrible friends and don't walk the horse to where only they can ride it. <laughs> we were riding and we were attacked by some wolves, so we, we put the wolves down. And Grizz was, what, like level 7? He was brand new. 8? No, I was like level 5. I had yeah. literally been online for like 30 minutes. Yeah, Grizz, Grizz was super new. So we're like, hey, go ahead and skin them. They're worth some good money. So while Grizz is busy doing that, I hop off my horse and I start running up this path. Because we're, we're on a path going up the side of a mountain. And I hop off my horse, take a running. And I hear Wild yell, fuck you, I'm going to do it before you I'm can. I'm doing it before you can. <laughs> jumps off his horse and s- steals Grizz's horse. Next thing I know, he takes a sharp right and jumps Grizz's horse off the I side of a mountain to its death. To its death. <laughs> <laughs> Come pick me up. Oh, he's right. Is that exactly what you had in mind? Yes. <laughs> Grizz being no, new to the game did not realize up, when you're picking me up he's trying to figure out what's going on yeah. he's going he's like because we're laughing we're busting yeah. up he's laughing because i did what he was gonna do i'm laughing because i did i did it and uh it was fucking hilarious and yeah. it, i mean i saw it first firsthand what it looked like it was fucking yeah. i was laughing my ass off and i'm like come pick me up he's like oh yeah you, you know i you just hear it in his voice is like you, you get credit you're yeah yeah this. So, and then the whole time Grizz is going did you guys fucking steal my horse? <laughs> you motherfuckers. I was like, when the fuck did my horse get dark? <laughs> I'm dying. Grizz was Dick. not very happy with us, understandably, because... No. Yeah. Grizz being so new to the game didn't realize that if he still called his horse after shoot. his horse was was done that he could get a horse. He walked his happy ass to like Armadillo all the way to the top of the mountain. Stone, remember losing those fucking pelts. Yeah, he was so angry, and uh, so then he gets this scrawny nag, which sucks. 
I mean, this this horse will make you rage break your controller. So eventually, his horse comes back, and we're still, you know, just trolling around and doing missions and whatnot. And then we get attacked by some bandits. And Grizz, again, being new to the game, was looting everything that he could. Which is good. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. But having not learned a lesson from earlier in the evening, I jumped on his horse, jumped it off of a mountain, into a river, and then it went over a waterfall. <laughs> and Wild watched it and float away. And landed, and landed at my feet. Grizz and is again. again unhappy at the loss of his horse. And so uh, then I decided, oh, you know, I'll be a, I'll be a nice guy. I'll get him a horse from uh, an NPC yeah. riding by. Right? So I take out the NPC on the horse. And, hey, Grizz, got a horse for you. And then just as Grizz is about to get there, I just, I couldn't help myself. So I shot the horse he put the horse away down. and left him in the woods. <laughs> I was in another town. I hear these guys going like, I hear, I hear Grizzly just going, what the fuck? You fucking, you're such an asshole. You're such a fucking asshole. Come back here. I mean, I'm just now, mind you, away. folks, I consider these dicks my friends. <laughs> ah, who needs enemies but with friends like us? But you know what? We do take care of you. We do take care hey, of you. Yeah. What about when yeah. I came to your rescue online? Yeah, I was like level 12, I think. Yeah. And this guy came up and just straight shotgun me right to the back of the head. Uh, he was playing uh, single player, yeah. the story mode. And, uh, you know, we were already in the party chat talking. And this guy was just spawn killed. So all I hear is, okay, I'm on my way. Oh, yeah. When I respond, I all I see is this other player that had been killing me just die and fall at my feet. <laughs> and Sam36 going, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> So with this guy, when we play, I I told this guy this, when we play that, when we play and I do the posse, and our posse is called what guys? Regulators. regulators. Fucking regulators, and we're if you guys don't know why, it's because of young guns. I know we're not the only regulators out there, obviously, no. but anyway. But we are the best. We are the best. <laughs> you wanted the best. <laughs> <laughs> so if I don't micromanage his ass, if I don't go, it. we're going to do this next. We're going to go here as, a, as a, the leader or whatever, the, the posse leader. Uh, we're going to, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to do this mission. We're going to do this. We're going to go hunt. If I don't do that, he rides away. He like, I, I just see, I, I'll look at the map and I'll see this is us and this is him. He looks for the closest player to go and fuck with. Or someone who's yeah. AFK. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I remember the first time playing with you online. We're doing a mission. And I'm heading to this mission, and I just see a blue dot on the mini map go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. Um, I mean, it's led to some interesting uh, times. There was like the kids that were. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna guess ten to twelve. They were they were squeakers. Yeah, and uh, we didn't know they were squeakers. No, because we were in a party chat, so I I couldn't could just see their little icon that they were speaking on there but i know what they were saying and you got curious i was just wrecking it. just it was fun i was having a good time i i mean i get creative well um, Some, to to our our to our credit they started it yes this is true and i we're not always <clears throat> causing trouble like 95 percent of the time we are yeah but in this case one of the rare cases that we weren't and uh so i like to like start getting creative like it's not enough for me to just like shoot you or pop out from cover and do all that you know i'll run a serpentine pattern take you out and stab you with my he knife whatever gets his rocks off at the moment <laughs> hog tie you throw you in a river throw you off a cliff well, you know, well, whatever. That's fun. We, yeah. we got we get pretty we get pretty imaginative yeah. on our and field. so i see these little just they're just they keep popping up that they're talking so like, curiosity got the better man i was like oh, i gotta find out so i i switch out of the party chat and it's Two kids are like 10 to 12. And, uh, so they had parlayed with me, so I couldn't cause damage for 10 minutes. Because the game kind of has a thing where if you're, somebody keeps killing you over and over, it's kind of like a, to save you or create distance, you can parlay. I didn't fully understand how the parlay worked, to where I couldn't damage them. So I kept like chasing them around town with my, my buoy knife out. And when I switched over from the party chat to the game chat, all I hear is... Mm -hmm. 
Ray! Ray! Sam 36 is coming for Ray! Ray, where are you at? And I he's just... He's got his knife out. He's got... He's got... He's, he's coming for Ray! Ray! And I just... I just busted up laughing. So then they say... Oh, you, you know, let, let's get out of here. Let's go to go to Rhodes. Ray, where are you at? I'm right here by the fast travel. Sam 36 is right here. Ray, Ray, come get me. Right? So then they fast travel over to Rhodes. Yeah, well, yeah, it was pretty funny because at one point we were roping them and doing stuff. And... Yeah, we got creative. Yeah. So then, after about 10 minutes, I get a lovely little <laughs> message. Oh, your parlay has ended. And I was like, oh, well, in that case, I think I'll take a trip to Rhodes. So I fast traveled over roads and just wrecked them all over again. And we all went to roads. Then they, he ended up leaving, but I switched out of the party chat and all I heard was, "Hey, Sam Three Six is back." <laughs> we uh, what about what about the time we we, we wrecked someone till you got, till we got a message. So I got a love letter. Both of us got yeah, a love got letter. Got a love letter, and uh, so. Uh, we end up in a, in a gun battle with this guy, and I'm I'm chasing him all over. Like it's, I I like it when you know I get a really good battle where we go back and forth, and I'm getting them, they're getting me. But I also like when they run. Serial killer in you. <laughs> yeah, there's some, probably so some so, sociopathic tendencies in this, but so when they run, then it's then it's a challenge. Cause now I've got to go get him. Now you got to find him. And uh, so yeah, so I ended up running Fucking this guy down Le Pew, over, over and over again, and I get a message from this guy like, "Why? What did I ever do to you?" And to which I simply responded, and I felt I wasn't trying to be cocky, mean, anything like You're that. You're being snarky. Uh, okay, maybe a little snark. All right, fine, maybe a little snarky. Yeah. But I just said, "Hey, you played Red Dead Redemption too, like." If you're going to play Red Dead Redemption 2 online, chances are you're going to get got. Hey, your dead eye is going up. <laughs> yeah. Your, your stamina's going your down, stamina's your dead going, eye's Your dead eye's going up. That's good. So then, he was like, man, there's so many other things to do in the game, like hunting, fishing, blah, 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 blah. And I responded to that message by uh, hunting him down for another 10 minutes in the game. And then he quit. And then he quit. I'd have to say that is probably one of my favorite things to do in this game is hunt and fish. Yeah. People or animals? Or animals. As far as hunting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Grizzly, what you, what, give us one of your favorite uh, online gameplays that we did, like one of your stories. Uh, I would, I'm sorry, Wild, but I'm probably going to have to say it was, it was me and Sam 36. Uh, that same session. That's okay. We... Uh, we did some hunting. We went into Valentine to sell our shit and buy more ammo. And uh, immediately starting killing this uh, this level 8 and this level 13. Um, completely wrecking their face. One parlayed with me. The other parlayed with him. Wait. So we switched. And uh, then they went into a store and sat there for about five minutes. And next thing we know, there was like... Eight level sixties and level one hundred just surrounding, wild. just swarming us, and we were getting wrecked. Mind you, oh, this was like three, maybe four different posses, yeah. just converging on Valentine. It was like a ten, so, ten person. You guys started some shit. We, we started World War uh, Zero. Zero. <laughs> really would have been. Uh, so we shagged ass and got out. And for probably the next, that. for probably the with, next hour and a half, all those guys were still in Valentine, just shooting the shit out of right. each other. Like I feel like I, I've I've left something like unresolved when I when I run away. Like well, we try to not to do that, but sometimes you have to. Sometimes yeah. you have to. I mean, and and I understand that you know, have to, <coughs> but at the same time, you know, I I like it more when people rage quit. Like don't if you're gonna have an open world environment. Where everything and everyone is fair game, you can't, you know, hogtie those folks. Uh, no pun intended, considering all the folks I've hogtied. Um, but you, you can't just stop people from. Oh, you, you can't just go pick off random well, people. Especially when there's about. achievements. You know, we'll go back. I'm gonna go back to some of these stories here. There's one story where this guy constantly killing people, killing somebody, and they parlayed with him. So he jumped on the horse. <laughs> he gave, He goes. 
fuck this guy and fuck his horse. He says, Wild, I won't bring his horse to you, kill it. That was the horse you're talking about? Yeah. You know, I, if I couldn't hurt him, I was going to get his horse. Well, the first guy we, the first guy that you and I went PvP against, uh, if you remember, was all proud that he killed my horse. Oh, yeah, that one guy. Oh, just, yeah, go ahead, keep killing me as long as I get to kill your horse. I'm like, huh, you don't, uh, you yeah. don't get any achievements for which, killing horses. Which, like, do, you want to finish, do you want to finish with the guy whose horse I stole? He he decides to continue fucking with these guys, and he's, he's I about. Can't, I can't help it. I can't. I can't help it. It's a sickness. It is. It is. Hmm. So, and I'm more pissed off when people kill my horse than they than they, I am when yeah, they kill me. Yeah, asshole. That horse didn't do nothing to you. So Wild and I started a war with two other posses because they rode up, killed my horse, left me alive, and then rode off. <laughs> That's just a dick move. In the move. same game, this guy decides, and they're they're going. There's this giant bridge. Same game, same guy whose horse I stole for a while to shoot. Yeah. So he decides, okay, I'm still on parlay. What can I do to fuck with this guy some more? He decides to run up to him, you know, ride on his horse to him and jump on the other guy's horse and ride nut to butt. Why you know, not? Why not? So the guy decides they can't really do nothing. They're they're parlaying. They can't kill each other. And he's riding over this... The rail bridge that yeah. connects... That uh, basically goes through a gorge. Yeah. So he decides, fuck it, I'm going off this. And I really wish I had this. I really wish I saw this. <laughs> At least, especially from like an oh, outside yeah. point of view. Because I just, I just imagine just... In, he, jumped, he jumped the horse off the bridge just to kill both of them. And he, he killed himself just so that he could kill me as well. No, actually, himself and, and his horse. And he was laughing his ass off I thought, the entire I thought time. That That's was clever more, as shit. That was my thought. I was like, hey, man, kudos to you, because I would have never thought about to do some shit like that. He found a way to kill you in a parlay. Exactly. That's where I wasn't even, I was impressed. I was just yeah. like, wow. And then, of course, we have what we call the baptism. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, explain the baptism. Well, so... Some members of our posse are absolute, like, I mean, I don't even know how to describe it. With a lasso, there's just a, a We're good. superior level of talent. And so, usually because there's three or four of us, you know, they, they might get one of us, but they can't get us all. So Reese is actually really good. I'd say he's the best. Yeah. And uh, so, we'll get somebody lassoed, hog time, and then the baptism is where we walk to the nearest river, throw them in the river. And watch them drown. We uh, there's a lot of good stories that we've done um, that we we could tell you about online, but online so far, I mean, this, the, and again, it's a beta. It's yeah. still a beta. There's not much to do. With, if you, if Rox, anyone from Rockstar ever watches this, let, which just, is unlikely, which is unlikely, but please, for the love of fuck, put in gambling. Gambling. Let me rob a bank. Let me rob a bank. Yeah. Let it grind. Yeah. To really be successful in online, currently. It feels like you have to either grind or invest. We're money. all bad guys. Yeah, we're bad people. We were doing. We were, that's why I told. That's why I told Gambit when we first. He started. He laughed his ass off for like thirty minutes when I said. I can't be in this posse then. I, I can't be friends with you guys. <laughs> oh, okay. There's a story for you right there. We just got out of a game because we started some shit and we didn't want to end. Be there for the end of the shit. We were trying to get Gambit money, and we'll get into that later because Gambit is an asshole. Yes. But we go to another game, and I'm inviting these guys in to join me. And then this player comes up to me. So I'm sitting there and this player's going, I'm like, go fuck off, dude. Go fuck off. He's riding around me in his fucking horse. We haven't shown him camp yet. What's this asshole doing? Get the fuck back, bro. Seriously. And all of a sudden behind me, I didn't even realize Gambit spawned in. I will blast you. I don't want to. Oh, oh Jesus, Gambit, you are the shit. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, that guy was like starting to fuck with me, dude, and all of a sudden Gambit comes and fucking blasts his ass. That was beautiful. I was, I was running up on him, getting ready to blast him. I heard, I heard, I heard your cries for help. There was, there was one guy that we took a mission, and it was a player assassination. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. This guy just takes the. It was in Valentine, and I'm already, I'm riding, I'm after him. But he was already way ahead, 
and uh, we only had it was like five minutes or something. I rode from Valentine to San Denis even after the timer was done, just to put this guy down. Oh, we had to we had to finish this. And this is these are these are game this from the game. The game <laughs> gives us this mission. It wasn't like we were picking on this guy. The game condoned these killings. Yes. Like, see, here's the thing. Like, while it's a, oh, you know, Sam three six has to be micromanaged because you can't leave him. This motherfucker will go in and like, oh, I need to do my hair. I need to trim my goatee. I need to do that. I'm like, this is the face of the of the fucking posse, okay? So in Valentine, he goes into the saloon that has the barber, right? And he's doing all that. And he's talking, and you're like, oh, I'm going to do this. But I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, huh? Meanwhile, I'm throwing dynamite into the back of carts that are going down the main road. <laughs> I'm throwing it into the back of their wagon. Oh. The horse is having what the fuck? And I've got three bombed out wagons and a just a bunch of NPCs in the road. Just dead. And he, what happened? Hey I'm bored. You left me alone for too long. Uh, here, Grizz, what about the time we went to the bar? You and I went to the saloon in, in uh, Valentine and tried to drink and I get that player to drink with us. I'm sitting there getting ready to drink whiskey. And while I was like, okay, if we can get this kid to drink with us, she was like level seven. We were going to help him. Yeah. If we can get him to drink with us, I'm going to invite him to the posse, invite him to the party. We'll help this kid out. So instead, as soon as I lift the bottle to drink it, he pulls out his revolver and puts it to the back of my head. Oh, well, okay. In which I respond properly. So Wild unloads on him. <laughs> unloads on him. Shotgun. Even his dead body. <laughs> oh, so no. then for the next 30 minutes, not kidding, next 30 minutes, through two parlays, we just ruined this fucking kid. He was living in the... Uh... In the gun store. <laughs> Took up residency? No, it was, it was the general store. Oh, the general he, store. He stayed in the general store. We took his horse and killed it. That's fine. Speaking of online and the saloon in Valentine, uh, just for the record, I am the undefeated boxing champion in the regulators. Uh, just you and Reese. Still, that's the only challenge i Okay, we're doing this. And We're gonna do that then. We're gonna have challenge a accepted, Reese. motherfucker. I, so he Reese I, didn't know how to block. Okay, he and I, he and I boxed, and I, I put him down. I had half my health gone. He came back, and I beat him again, and again. Then he came back with. Then a he gun. came back with a shotgun, and, <laughs> and I did not, lost. I did not win. You can't punch <clears> bullets. <throat> you know, there's like the little challenges that you can do that pop up. So mm -hmm. Wild one time actually accepted inadvertently. A uh, bow kill oh, challenge. Bow kill. Yeah, that shit was fun. And it was that like, was fun. Oh, talk about fucking mayhem. We had mayhem. fun doing that. That was I died a lot, but it was fun. Also, uh, I killed Wild. He did not kill me. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, because well, you know, it starts out like it starts doing the countdown, right? And it spawned Wild and I in a house right next to each other, and like part of me goes. Oh, do I, you know, hey, we're a team. Should do I we, kill him? Do we not, like... Uh, I was a pinky. I right, was so game. I was kind of going back and forth, yeah. and I thought, okay, because we went in as a posse, maybe it won't let me get him. Well, then, as soon as it starts and I can aim on him, boom, plunked him right in the forehead with a with an arrow. We played the... Uh, uh, Grizz and I played the uh, Battle Royale version of the game. How was that? Because that, the Battle I'm Royale is fair, fairly new, right? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of yeah, it. Yeah, it... it it, it was pretty it was pretty glitchy hmm. but it like really if you've ever played that. like PUBG it's it's kind of like that uh That's where you have to run you have to find weapons okay. but it's like a small ass area hmm. where there can be up to like 15 fucking people kind of like uh if we're going to throw it back uh like Call of Duty on uh the rust level, yeah, or yeah. Uh, the yeah. shipping shipping melee, container. Well, melee kills are fun. It's some about it. It just feels. How about and some of the names too? Um, like when uh, pistol whip that one player. Oh yeah, and it, the experience for pistol whipping them was <laughs> eyes wide shut. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I've I've gotten that one. Um, there's another one. Uh, I think it was um, 
Silent Slicer, where you and I took out that whole freaking um, uh, gang attack area with just our Bowie knives. Oh, nice. You have to play with Max a little yeah. bit at least, uh, out of all of us, because he, he fell off the face of the earth again, that fucking asshole. Yeah, I, I can't get him to answer anything. We He's fun to play with, too. Like He's really fun. This guy, I think, had a lot of fun with him. Those two, well, they he, bonded a little bit because they're a little alike. Yeah, he, he was... Uh... He was always down for mayhem. Like, Wild is like, oh, you know, let's go do some missions, blah, blah, blah. some money. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's do some hunting. Let's do some fishing. And Maximus was just like, oh, we're going to go kill some other players? Yeah, yeah, let's, let's do that. Well, no, this guy would go right off, and I'm like, okay, fishing here, enjoying myself. And then I'd see two blue dots go off on their own. <laughs> and I'm thinking, they're, at first I'm thinking, oh, they're just going to go do something. And I see, I see Maximus killed somebody. Uh, you know, Sam 36 killed somebody. I'm like, God <clears throat> damn it, I got to go fucking help the posse. So I stop, put all the shit away, go. Like, I'm not getting money today, motherfucker. So I go what? out there and, and help them. And it just become a, it'd be a clusterfuck of greatness. And my my favorite is when I stir something up. And like, so I'll, I'll shoot somebody. And uh, then it turns out they're in a posse. And one of their other posse members is right by Wild, so then they start going for Wild. Yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. Usually when, and this this happened at first, it doesn't happen so much anymore. I think I'm used to it. I, I, I don't let those fuckers get close to me anymore. But I would be, I would just kind of do my own thing, like, okay, man, I'm not going to kill you, live and let live, yeah. you know, that's cool. And then this guy would just, bam, just fucking kill somebody, and then all of a sudden, you know, once, once, once someone on a posse kills someone else, their whole posse yeah. turns red. So these guys come at me thinking I'm this motherfucker, and I'm the one that dies. <laughs> I'm the one that dies. I this guy has gotten my horse killed more times than I or me more times than I like to count. So now I'm used to it. He goes and kills someone. I go into straight defense mode. I got the shotgun out. I'm waiting. I hide behind something and I wait for fucking asshole. In my defense, you should just be a better shot. But I'm, then uh, I'm a great yeah. shot. I've saved you a few times. Yeah, this is true. My favorite story, though, and it's probably my last story because I know we're running low on time. Yeah, was the same uh, elevated rail bridge that the guy jumped off and killed me, his horse, and himself. Uh, so I was, you know, attacking uh, these posse. There's two posse members, and I was riding by to meet Wild, and I was like, "While I'm here," and uh, while I'm here, so I put them, I put them both down. And then they kept coming after me. And so what they weren't expecting, though, was for me to use my horse as a barrier. So I would get my horse, like, so here's the rail bridge. And I'd park my horse like this and stand behind it and just shoot over the top of my horse. And they, there was nothing they could do. That was actually pretty good. Yeah. So we finally played with Gambit. And we were, you already heard him being pacifist, acting mm-hmm. like he's goody two-shoes, which we all fucking know better. <laughs> and, uh... So, so he's like, we, we're like, okay, we, first thing you got to do is get another horse. Your fucking horse sucks. And he's, he has this thing and he's so proud of this. He's cause his name's Gambit. His first horse was named Hart. We're like, that's, you're dumb. That's fucking stupid. Cause my horse is named Gorilla Glue. My first horse was named Glue Stick. Yeah. His first horse. Useless. And then now I have less useless. Less useless. His first horse. Was a uh, shite bag. It's a better so game. now I got the the biggest horse in the game you can get, so I named it Tiny Shite. Tiny Shite. <laughs> so uh, as you can see, we have this thing with naming your horses goofy shit, and then we got Gambit, who's like he thinks he's so fucking like like intelligent. He's like, man, it's witty. I'm like, no, it's fucking stupid, because his, his first horse was named Heart. His second horse is named Spade. Get where he's going? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, it's so witty. I'm like, no, you're fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid. So we spent six fucking hours last night trying to get him money so that he can buy his second horse. horse. No, first. When all he had to do was sell his fucking slow ass Morgan to get the money to buy a new horse. Well, not even sell it. Just just get it out of the stable so he can get the the the. I want to keep it. I want to keep it. I want to keep it. He got fucking emotionally attached to this horse. (laughs) So bad to the point where, like, we had to, he had to spend a hundred dollars on another fucking, uh, stable. Uh, stable. And then we had to go get that hundred dollars back by doing missions and do it. And Gambit is super gay for delivery missions <laughs> the whole yes. night. He's his, like, his man, what favorite you... pastime is delivering mail. It was pissing me off. <laughs> he loves delivering mail. Like, deliver mail. 
Let's go deliver mail. He's going, I don't oh, want to deliver he's wagon. Going, Let's Susie go deliver needs to mail. Know if someone died from cholera. <laughs> Little, this is a, this is what needs to happen. Our dream is to kill people in the fucking video game. Yeah. Gambit, game, what's your problem? Video game. Let's let's do a quick like. What would you guys rate this? Like out of one out of ten. Eight and a half. I'd, I'd say. Eight yeah. Now. Yeah. A, a solid eight, solid eight maybe it, nine easy. actually maybe nine. Like, yeah. If the online and it, I, I just the, just for the single player game alone, I would say go get it. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. The single player, like you're gonna laugh, you're gonna cry. The, there's happy moments. There's moments where they sing. Yeah. You know, and that's great. And it's fun to get Arthur singing. Cause he's, and he doesn't even know all the words. He'll hum most of it. You know, and uh, it, it's just cool. You get in touch with these characters. You love these characters. You love the writing. The even the the strangers. You start yeah. kind of feeling something for the multiplayer, like. The, the multiplayer would be maybe currently a seven. is what brings it down a little bit for me. The multiplayer uh, is a seven, in my opinion. The story on the single player is—I don't think I've ever gotten so attached to one specific character or a group of characters like I have in this game. Eight and a half, eight and a half, nine. So, guys, it's definitely a worthwhile play. Even online's fun, mm -hmm. despite all the little problems and how boring it gets from time to time. And it's still beta, so it's only yeah. going to get better. Fix yeah. your shit, Rockstar. Yeah, I like that. Because we've all said it. Yeah. You know, you didn't fuck it up. You did a good job. Uh, continue. Don't fuck it up for the people who like to have fun and kill people. <laughs> Guys, go out. and If you haven't got the game, it's worth it. I know I know we're doing this a little late, but the podcast, the, the season just started. So, uh, in closing, you got anything to say, Grizz? Get the game. Everybody, we want you to stay nerdy. Stay sexy. Always. Regulators, let's ride. Let's ride!